Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a game review. It's a game that was first released uh, back in September of 2013. Um, recently, it was re-released. Uh, back in November of uh, 2014, it was released. Uh, it was released because it was so good and because they could have so much more to offer on the next-gen consoles. And that game in question, which you probably know by now, is Grand Theft Auto V. A lot of it, I'm not going to lie, is pretty much like the Xbox 360 and the PS3 version. Yeah, it's still in Los Santos, you've still got Michael Trevor, uh, Franklin, you've still got Chop the Dog, um, you know, you've still got Lester, things like that, you know, the F FIB, um, still got them, you know, harassing you. You've still got the whole bank job screw, screw up and Michael as a uh, witness protection. Everything like that is still the same, but because it's on next gen, graphics are better. The gameplay, slightly better. You know, you've still got, you know, um, silly people in traffic. Um, you know, it's still like that. There are silly things, you know, there are glitches, uh, there are mishaps. Um, but there's a lot more. There's a lot more cars, there's a lot more animals, uh, there's a lot more tree density. You know, as silly as it sounds, but the grass looks better. So it gives it that more feel of it's a real life buzzing city, which is good. You know, it's what you need. And because it's on next gen, it is, you know, it's all that. And Grand Theft Auto games don't come out every year like FIFA, for example, or wrestling. With GTA games, it's good that there's a next gen console and there's a game on it. Whereas if there was a next gen console and there wasn't a GTA on it, it wouldn't be that good. But this one is. You know, online's good. Um, it does have its odd moments, uh, odd glitches, which is a bit of a shame. So I was playing online yesterday, and uh, I couldn't get a gun. I had guns, I had ammunition, and uh, yeah, every time I went to select a gun, it just wouldn't appear. So there are glitches on uh, online, but it's GTA. You know, there's there's more traffic density, there's more animals. Um, even the sun shining through looks better. This time around you can be animals, which is pretty cool. I still yet to have done that, uh, but it's pretty cool to uh, be able to turn into an animal when Michael or Franklin uh, can turn into an animal of uh, several different choices. Um, it's just good. It's more of a vibrant world. That is the main key to it. It feels more alive. GTA, if you're an old user as well so if you're on your 360 and you get an xbox one you can transfer everything over pretty cool um you get half a million each online and offline if uh, if you do that correctly i've managed to do that but gta 5 if you've enjoyed the previous games if you've enjoyed previous uh, gta 5 on your last generation console uh then yeah definitely recommend getting it um i got it on the day of its release until uh, after christmas but so worth the wait, very enjoyable, um, it's next gen, can't complain. Thanks for watching my uh, review of GTA 5 on uh, Xbox One, also guys, We The Devoted, links down below, as per usual, go check them out, use TurboWTD, gets 20% off We The Devoted items that you desire to buy, links down below to the shop, go check them out guys. But, in all honesty, thank you very much for watching my review of GTA 5 on the next gen for Xbox One. Thanks for watching guys.